Barton Simmons here with Steve Wolfong and Brandon Huffman for 24-7 Sports. We're out here at the Alamo Dome. First day of practice at the Army Bowl kicked off today. We had the East in here in the morning. The afternoon we saw the West. Um, Steve, we'll start with you with the East. Who was the top guy? Well, even the practice field after that East practice, Tyreek Johnson, Ohio State commit out of Florida, asked, where's his fifth star? He certainly showed that he deserves one. And that first practice took reps at corner and safety, was dominant in one-on-ones in the team portion. He was a thumper, very physical, uh, made a lot of plays in coverage. also want to add that the Clemson commits, man, they were yeah. as advertised. Darian Kendrick, he's in the discussion as a top receiver in the country. Josh Belk, the defensive tackle, was terrific on the interior. And the number one prospect in the country, Trevor Lawrence, uh, very accurate today, hitting receivers in stride, giving them a chance to make plays after catching the football. Huff, what about the West this afternoon? Who, who, who jumped out? Well, it's not somebody who needs a fifth star because he already has that. I'm on Ross St. Brown, but what he asked was, where's number one? Where's that number one receiver? Because he's listed number two right now. Today, this is a guy whose season just ended about 12, 13 days ago. Played a long season, winner state championship for modern day. Came out here today, working with three different quarterbacks, but his teammate, JT Daniels, who reclassified, is in this game. You could see that chemistry between those two. Amon Rod just really separated himself as the course of practice went on. Uh, but JT Daniels, here's a guy that two weeks ago was still finishing his junior year. Now he's reclassified, playing in this game. He probably looked the best of the three quarterbacks today, all Southern Californians with Ken McKee and Matt Corral. I thought JT Daniels was probably the most consistent. So no surprise that Gatorade Player of the Year, the National Player of the Year, uh, two guys that helped lead a team to a national championship were the two stars today, but Amon Ra, to me, was the best player for the West. Yeah, and i tell you, at quarterback, you mentioned I mean, JT Daniels and you mentioned Trevor Lawrence. Those guys really were different than everybody else we saw here today, and it was all good play from the quarterbacks, but those guys were really unique. I think JT Daniels is going to be a lock to get a fifth star for us. Uh, it's just about how high is he going to go. He could be right up there next to Justin Fields and Trevor Lawrence by the end of this week if he continues to play like this. Part of Miami commit, Jaron Williams went throw for throw with Trevor Lawrence. Who was taking him there? Jaron had a good day. I thought like I, I don't think there was a bad quarterback performance all day long, um, and I think that's that's going to make the All Star game that much better. So we'll see how these guys go throughout the week, and uh, we'll get back to you tomorrow with another update.